Just made it to 200 subscribers. Um, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. This is my most successful channel I ever had. And, um, yeah. This is just... It's been... It's been amazing. It's been amazing. Like, this YouTube thing. I really... Never, never would have thought this would happen. And um, look at it now. 200 subscribers. And strong. Hmm. It's over 90,000 views. So, uh, one of my newest subscribers, um, recommended this. And, uh, I'm gonna do a draw of my life. So yeah, that's gonna be my 200 subscriber video. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but um, yeah, guess we're gonna do that. But um, as always, I thank all of you, every single one of our subscribers, for the support. And um, as always, this is the Entertainer. I'll see you all in the next video. Hello everybody, my name is The Entertainer, and today we're going to be doing a Draw My Life video. And um, yeah, to start it off, <laughs> my uh, well, I guess, well, not really a lot of subscribers know my name, but um, or the new ones that's, that's coming, well, my name is Tyler. And, uh, yeah, I was born in Buffalo, New York. And, uh, yeah. Um, it was easy growing up in Buffalo, New York, I guess. Well, going through pre-K and kindergarten and stuff like that. Um, but, as, uh... As time passes by, um, I kind of felt like I was very alone, so I kind of felt like I was depressed all the time. Like I was never really included in anything really. I just felt like the outcast for some reason. I didn't really feel like I meant, like I was meant to be in the crowd, really. So I'll always do my own thing. I don't think a lot of people understood while I did that. But it felt right to me. So, yeah. As uh, I passed my little kindergarten classes, uh, I went on into grade school, and in grade school, I kind of, uh, you know, I was a regular kid, you know, average grades, you know, kind of felt like a dork though, you know, yeah, like everybody know, and I had the low glasses, and, um, yeah, well, I wasn't the smartest kid, but I wasn't the dumbest either. Which was a very good trait to me. Um, that's what I felt like, <laughs> I guess. But, um, yeah. Don't really have really that much background to my grade school stuff. But, um, yeah. It was really just a easy flyby. 
but as time passed I started to experience a lot of emotions going through my little boy phases I would like to call them and um I felt really weird like I felt like I was losing my mind <laughs> um I guess a lot of people would know what the boy phases I'm talking about, so I'm not gonna really dig deep into that. But um, yeah, as time passed, um, I got influenced with a lot of things. So like, art was like one of my main passions, and I really, really expressed my art with like a lot of things. And um, a lot of people gave me feedback on it. So I was really happy making art, you know. And I just kept doing it as years passed by. But all of that changed when I got into high school. As soon as I got into high school. I started to experience things that I really did not want to experience. Like, um, since I left, oh well, a lot of the friends that I did know after I left grade school, it was kind of really difficult to get used to the high school setting. And I didn't really know what to do at that point. So, I just felt really kind of alone, really. Like, for like a really long time. I didn't know what to do really, like um, with my spare time. Like I, I really was the outcast in school. Like I really didn't want to talk to a single person. But a, hey, my brother went to the school too, so guess you could say. That was okay, I guess. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of okay. But um, enough about that. Um, into the life of high school, I got into relationships, and um. These relationships had my mind spinning and spinning and spinning. I really did not know at all where my life was going at that point in time. But, um, you know, when you get that first relationship, it's kind of different, but, uh, well, the first major relationship. You start going through a lot of things, and um, it's basically what I was going through. And the fact that I had things going on in my life with my family didn't make it better either. So um, that just put me in a more depressive state. kind of felt really sad about a lot of things. Like, I didn't really know what to do a lot. So, I just stayed to myself. I stayed in my own bubble, and I didn't let anybody else in. No matter how much they tried. But, um, yeah. I didn't really know what else to do really. I felt like my life was just going down a spiraled hill and I just couldn't express my feelings in any way because I kept bottling it up. So something happened though. Um, a couple years back I started a YouTube channel. Um, a couple of my subscribers know 
but it was Tire Dash 007. And um, with this YouTube channel, it was kind of different. Cause I was really ex obsessed with the fact that I really wanted to be 007, like really badly. Like I was really into the whole 007 thing. So yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I went back to my YouTube stuff and I kind of noticed. I was not that bad at it. So, um, yeah. As time passed, I kind of kept doing the YouTube stuff. And I went after I knew it. I made channels. Well, it went from Tire Dash 007 to Happy J Game Boy, which is basically like a. It was the iconic channel, I guess you could say. But uh, that was kind of like my testing channel, because I didn't really feel like that channel was for me, so that channel wasn't good either. So what I did was, I kind of thought of like multiple ideas for like a channel, like it spread it out into like a really big thing, like I didn't, I couldn't have one fixed idea. Like, it was just really, really jumbled up all over the place. But, I put all those pieces together, and it became something that a lot of people know of today. And it became The Entertainer. This name came from all of the things that I really enjoy doing, which is basically entertaining people, which is something that I really was good at. And um, I elaborated on that. And before I knew it, people started asking me left and right, do you have a YouTube channel? You act like you have a YouTube channel. Like that's a YouTube channel name because all of my social media stuff had that name on there because I always shared it with everybody. So after I knew it, people in high school started recognizing me. So I kind of started getting known. And I was actually feeling pretty cool about myself. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of people really, really were loving my stuff. So I just kept doing it over and over again. And before I knew it, this grew into a really big thing. YouTube really came in and swooped up everything. Because I didn't really understand where my life was going at the moment. But as time passed, I gained subscribers. Slowly, but surely. And views. One subscriber became 10, 10 became 30, 30 became 50, and then it just had a dramatic jump. And then I went from 50 to 120, and before I knew it, today now I have 200 subscribers. Like, I don't really know how it really got that fast like I understand like I really take a lot of time editing my content but 200 subscribers that's that's just really big to me that's a milestone that nobody ever thought that I would reach and I just feel really happy about that because I never never would have expected that I would reach 200 subscribers never at all. Both of my old channels never got over 30. I had a channel that had 50 subscribers on my first channel and my second channel had Happy, Happy J Game Boy had 25 I think. And this channel is just really big and 
YouTube really just helped out in a lot of ways when I really needed it because I really didn't know where my life was going at the moment and yeah I just really I just really owe it to you guys really well guys and girls I would like to say that I'm right here right now feeling really good about myself and I feel happy now that I can actually entertain people and people actually like what I'm doing so yeah I would just like to say thank you to every one of you that subscribed because it really means a lot to me and I just don't know what else to say about that Really though, that's my life in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird for me to do this, but I don't know. I'm enjoying my life. I didn't watch any tutorials on how to do this. I actually just winged it, so. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy it though. So, I really enjoyed it. So as always, this is The Entertainer. I'll see you all in the next video. Okay. Bye. Down and catch up. Bitches in that hot switch. And I bet that all these.